today I have ton amazing jailbreak tweaks to share with all of you guys and it is compatible up to 14.2 and you can see I have the iPhone SE in my hand it is currently running on 14.2 now let's go to the first tweak and you can see when I move my phone the icon also moving and it is jumping around the screen so it is a tweak called gravitation and it has just been updated to iOS 14.2 now to to go back to default you can just save your phone then it should go back and I can just go to setting here go to gravitation and make sure these two options are enabled now if you want to play with your icon just save your phone then it just fall down and I can just move my phone just like that and it is really cool and it is very fun to play with for the next one we have settings button so after you install it quick now take a look on the top right corner you're gonna see the three buttons so the last one it is um, if you click on it your phone will be respring and the second one if you click on it your phone will be go to set mode and you also have dark mode as well now if I click this button it will just go to dark mode and if I click on the next button it asks me if I want to go to set mode and if I click on the last one it will just respring my phone um, straight away move on to FPF indicator if you want to play in game and you want to see the frame rate um, you can install the tweak and to enable inside the games just go to this one and then select your game that you want to show the frame rate and I'm gonna show you on subway software and now it is enabled and I can just go back to the game and you're gonna see the frame rate on the top right so you can see here but because I have the other tweak so it is it is um, it is a bit glitch perhaps you already seen this since the beginning of my video so you can see there is no label on the icon and even the dock this is a tweak that gonna hide some element on your home screen and I can just go to setting and you can see I can hide label I can hide label folder and I can even hide the dock background amber is one of my favorite jailbreak tweaks since iOS 12 as you can see on your iPhone there are two flash so the first one it is um, a white one and the next one it is uh, it just show you a yellow so this tweak allow you to use that yellow light now let me show you how it works so after you install amber just go to control center then you need to scroll down and you're gonna find amber and make sure, make sure you hit on the plus button to add it to the top and after that when you go to control center make sure you um, enable amber and then when you hit on the flashlight you can see it is it is using the second flashlight and it's so yellow and it is really amazing now let me um, disable amber and now this is a normal flashlight so you can see the difference blur switch will change the color on the button and even add some blur to the button as well so you can see here i have enable button and it is in green and I can change this I can go to light dark or I can change the thin color as well depend on the color that I like basic dark hider it is basically allow you to hide the dark background so with just uh, one simple button so I can just enable this one and if you take a look on my dark there is no background anymore usually when you go to landscape mode you don't see status bar but after you have installed horizontal status when you go to um, landscape mode you can see um, the status bar still appear and it works very well in landscape mode for blur wallpaper it allows you to add some blur to your wallpaper so there are many presets available here where you can select either you go to normal scene or you can go depend on which one that you like let's say I'm gonna go to um, six and then I can just um, apply and after that you can take a look on my home screen you're gonna see um, it is very blur and I cannot even see my uh, wallpaper on my home screen and one more thing for the wallpaper you can find from the link in my video description so thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one